Let me take you to the coast right now. Ryan Kruger is standing by live. Ryan, you have started to see some things changing a little bit more today compared to the past few days, right? Yeah, and really the biggest thing we're sensing, Chris, is almost a sense of relief. Check this out. You see all these people that are still out and about enjoying the day here on St. Simons. Uh, really the last day they're going to be able to. Uh, a lot of people I've spoken with, they were maybe thinking about leaving, chose not to when they woke up today because they looked at the latest projections, saw that the coast is no longer in, you know, the cone, but so they decided not to leave. But emergency officials still stressing, still some dangerous impacts expected from Dorian. It looks like a normal summer day on St. Simons. The feeling of luck is in the air. And wouldn't you know it, we spoke with a woman named Luck. Oh, I'm, I'm so relieved. Yeah. I have many times before I left ridden over here and gone, oh my God, it's all going to be gone. Luck Flanders has lived along the Georgia coast her entire life. She usually evacuates ahead of storms, and she had every intention of leaving Tuesday morning. We're down to the wire, but we're ready. We had. You know, we have a place to go. And so, I mean, I was just going to make a vacation out of it. The latest tracks from the National Hurricane Center show Dorian far offshore when it comes near the Georgia coast. But the area is still expected to get up to six feet of storm surge and several inches of rain. Glenn County Commissioner Michael Browning is concerned about conditions immediately after the storm rolls through. When a storm comes through and we have limbs on the road, it's dangerous to be on the road. We have power lines on the road, it's dangerous to be on the road. Back at the beach, many people flocked to the pier for one last look before they decided to ride out Dorian. We talked about it. We decided not to do it, not to leave. And maybe it's maybe made a bad decision, but hey, who knows? And there is a curfew in effect here in St. Simons and Brunswick. It goes into effect at 10 o'clock tonight until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, within the last hour, I was speaking with county officials. One of the concerns here in St. Simons, there's only one way in and out. That's the the tourist causeway and I was asking them do they plan to close that causeway they said they are hoping they may be able to keep that road open throughout the duration of the storm just in case anybody has to get in and out including emergency officials of course if it floods and becomes impassable they will have to close it but we will have to wait and see until Dorian rolls through we'll send it back to you all in the studio all right Ryan so interesting to see people take those final pictures before Dorian moves in